Hello there. In this video, we're going to go through uh, configuring Ubuntu 19.04 to use for, for web development. So um, I've just got a, uh, a virtual machine, uh, which has got the, um, the, the basic uh, Ubuntu 19.404 install. And uh, we're going to go through um, configuring this um, from installing what we need, which is Node um a text editor and um my, my preferred uh, shell which is fish um we're going to be doing that in in, in bash initially um and so yeah let's just get uh, stuck into this um so in this virtual machine window here i've got uh, a vm box i think it's got two gig of ram and one cpu uh, so i can't afford anything else while i'm recording this um so there might be times where this um slows down a bit or things look a bit choppy and um, just just you know if, you, if you're using this as a, you know, a starting point from your machine then you know, it's, it's not going to be that so I'll just, just apologize up front for any sort of choppiness you see so um, this is the usual warning you get for uh, Ubuntu um, so I've installed the uh, guest add-on so I can maximize this screen so do uh, the right control key in F uh, allow me to go full screen <laughs> And I can just log in as Scott here with my super secret password. Um, and then um, I've, I've, this is literally just a um, after I've installed Ubuntu, taken out the installation media and uh, installed guest add ons. Um, and then we're going to we're going to go through the steps we need to do to install node um, and uh, fish, know my fish and the reasons behind using node um, and and know my fish as well. So let's, uh, let's crack open a terminal, uh, which is control alt T, I believe in Ubuntu. Yep. Um, and then we'll try and drag this, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything a bit slow. So let's uh, resize this here. And okay, so we need node. We haven't got that installed. Um, we're gonna install Firefox. Hopefully this will open up a bit faster. Um, so we're not gonna install um, Node.js here. We're gonna use uh, N, um, which is like NVM, uh, but we're gonna use N. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, n install, not in install, n install, which is basically just a, a nice way to install um, n. So if we look here, if we scroll down, we get the uh, the uh, go. So um, I'm doing, using Alt Tab. I'm not sure if anyone knows that, but it's just how you cycle through your um, your windows uh, and then Control C and then to paste into terminals. I think it's Control Shift V, Control Shift C to copy. So we're going to do this for N, and it looks like curl isn't installed. Um, let's just check for Git. It's not installed either. So let's do um, sudo at install curl git uh, and fish um, and hit enter so what we could do is we could have uh, defaulted these to to say yes install them so we get this prompt to say do you want to continue uh, just a little tip is um, if we just do control c to break that and we do a dash y that's the same as me hitting why when we get this prompt so um if you know you if you know you want to install the software which you've just sort of put in the uh the command prompt there just hit a dash y and it'll install it for you so while this is installing um we've got um n install and we're going to want to install um so omf wow this is slow fish uh, omf and um, 
Uh, this is it here, Omar Fish. So while that was installing, is it still installing? Nearly done. Okay, so that's those installed. So if we hit up a couple here, um, the initial command for n install, we hit that. That will install uh, n for us. Yes. So that's just going to download the latest version of uh, Node and install it for us. And um, uh, we'll come on to why well, I'm using n um, rather than just 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 installing like the, the base node package. Um, so if you do npm dash v, um, that's not going to work because we need to uh, reload our window or, or just um, do this command here. So it's control shift C, control shift V um, just to, to reload our bash RC file. And then we should be able to get our NPM version and our node version. So cool. Right, so N, if you hit N, it'll give you a list of installed versions of nodes you've got. Uh, if you hit Q, quit out of that. If we do N dash L, I think, uh, LS, you get available versions of node to install. Um, I'm going to scroll up here. So you can pick out any, any other version you'd like to pick out. Um, so what do we do? Node 6. So if you say N6, I'll install Node 6. And then um, we're now on Node 6. Um, so uh, let's just go back to where I was with uh, Fish as well. Um, Fish is just, it's just a nice shell for um, Productivity really. Um, there's it has like uh, IntelliSense for your paths. So say if I want to um, clone a, a, a repo, um, or, or sort of just navigate around my file system. If we do LL, let's just see what we've got here. We've got documents, uh, desktop, and downloads. Um, in in um, Bash, if you just do a, a tab. Um, it auto completes what it can for you. So for here, we can't change that because it's a directory. So we need to say CD downloads and we move to the downloads. Um, and then it's a dot dot slash to, to, to navigate back. So with fish, which I believe is installed now. Yep. Uh, for things like that, uh, downloads, you see it, it sort of uh, completed the rest of the file, the, the, the path for us, and there's no need to do a CD either for, for navigating around things like that. So that's why I like fish. Um, let's take a look at uh, Oh My Fish, which is just for some nice theming options. Um, so take a look here, curl again. So Control Shift E to install Oh My Fish. And then with that, we can use um, OMF uh, theme. And then that lists the available themes we've got. Um, you notice we've got the, the default one installed. One which I like is uh, one. So if we say OMF uh, install one, um, and it'll give us this nice prompt here where you can see over to the right here, what node version we're using. Uh, and also a nice one is uh, Space Fish. And that again gives you your uh, your node version in the um, prompt. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, maybe it's just for when you're in a project. I don't know. Um, okay, so moving on. Um, we want to... Um, start cloning things into um, a directory, I guess. So we want to, from our home, mkdir, and we're going to call it repos. And then in there, we're going to change the repos. And we're going to want to clone something. So um, let's take a look at GitHub. But before we do that, um, 
let's change our n version back to so a bit more recent than six um, and we're going to do create react app uh, with npx so we'll just in our repost directory here we'll do an npx uh, create react app and we're going to call our app cra test and we're going to let that run um, and open up another terminal which uh, control shift t and then to navigate between the two, it's control page up and page down. Um, so on here, we're going to go fish. And then for my repos, we're going to need to configure git. Um, so again, in GitHub, um, I'll find my dot files. Expense is 10. Dot files. And we'll get the Linux git config. So basically, the reason why I'm installing this uh, is for when I do changes to um, a in any git changes, it has my my username and uh, email address. Um, but also, I like to use um, aliases as well, which is just shorten down um, git commands. Um, and then also the uh, credential uh, helper manager, which is for storing your passwords um, for if you're going to do like a push or a pull to a repository, you're not entering uh, your password each time. So if we copy this and then we go to that terminal and we open up nano at the, the tilde, which is the home directory forward slash um, it's Git config, which is just going to be open up a new file. So if we do Control Shift V, uh, copy pasta the um, the contents of that uh, file in there, and then uh, we'll do Control O to write out the file. Hit return. Try X to exit. So now let's take a look at how we're doing here. Still installing. Um, I should be able to clone this repository here. Scroll up. Go to the dot files and it uh, goes to clone or download. Um, then currently have SSH enabled, so um, I've only got the option to. Um, I think it's because I'm not signed in, they don't have the SSH option. Just for the purposes of this, we'll just copy that URL. We'll tab back here and we're going to do git cl, which I've got aliased for clone. So if we go back to here again. Uh, git config let me scroll down to cl it's basically just git clone and then we put in the, the url here we'll clone the dot file so if we do ll to list the directory we've got cra test and the dot files um so let's take a look at cra test so uh cra test and if we do control page up uh, it looks like it's finished installing um, and we're in fish shell here. So if we um, navigate to CRA test and look at our, our package JSON file, um, and then we look at the scripts. Uh, so we've got start npm run start is what we need. Uh, another one, um, if we do npm run um, from inside the uh, the project, it will show you what available scripts you have to run. So in this case, it's uh, uh, just npm start. That's one of the um, the reserved um, uh, scripts you can use with npm. So while we wait for that to spin up, um, take a look at the files in here. We'll make some changes. I think we're going to need a text editor. So for that, my preferred text editor would be uh, Visual Studio Code. So this looks like the um, the App Store for uh, Ubuntu. Let's look at the search for Visual Studio Code, which is this here. That didn't seem right. <laughs> okay, and then let's install that uh, and authenticate. And uh, while we wait for that to install, Close that. 
Um, we'll take a look at what we've got here. Um, so we've got our development server running, and we've got our um, create React app running on uh, localhost 3000. So that seems to be working fine. Um, if we do control page down, we can take a look at um, what we've got in, take a look at what we've got running in our project. And, and we can see here um, the uh, space fish, I can't remember what the theme was called now. Uh, um, do I do OMF theme? Yes, space fish, it, it shows you what you've got installed. Um, and we've just got this notification here for Visual Studio Code is now installed. So if we launch that, we'll probably just get the uh, the Microsoft um, the getting started page pop up, um, which we'll, we'll we'll duly close, um, and we'll move on to to making some changes in our Create React app here. So we're nearly done. Um, all that's left really to do is just to make some changes with our text editor. Um, so we'll do that from, from here. We can do code dot, and that should open up Visual Studio Code for us. Eventually. I'll tell you between these. This is, uh, this is where my, my VM is just, just struggling right now. Oh, here we go. Okay, so um, with um, Ubuntu, here we go. It's the, it's the, the start page for Visual Studio Code. Let's close that. Let's tab back to, uh, alt tab back to Visual Studio Code. And, in uh, Ubuntu, you've got the super and the arrow keys. So if we do left, right, down, up, uh, it sort of uh, manages your window state. So, um, uh, which is quite handy. It's, it's um, I'm, I'm not sure when it was put into Ubuntu, but um, it's quite a good feature. It's, it's one which was missing from, um, from Windows, which uh, I really like. So, before we finish up, let's just take a look at our app here. And um, we've got this. Yeah, it's really slow. Yikes. Um, and we'll save that and we'll take a look at our page. Okay, so there you have it. Um, so we've gone from uh, a base install of Ubuntu 18.04. We've installed everything we need for web development um, as, as far as I can uh, gauge, which is um, Node to run our web apps locally, um, a text editor, uh, Visual Studio Code, and uh, some nice frilly bits on, on our terminal because we do spend a lot of time in there as developers. So that was uh, Fish with, with Oh My Fish. And we just looked at some of the uh, the themes you could get for that. Um, so for, for Node, rather than use NVM, we've gone with, with N. Um, and I've listed out the um, uh, how you pick different versions with, with Node for that. Um, and there you have it. We've got sort of a working web dev environment. So hopefully that's helped. Um, and uh, thank you for watching and we'll say goodbye. Thanks then. Bye-bye.